this is more or less an observation but remembering the ignorance in all of us helps show compassion to others because no one is intentionally behaving badly on purpose it's all due to ignorance it is a very good uh, comment actually it is a very good understanding that uh, ignorance is the root cause of suffering and uh, not only my suffering it is the root cause of uh, the suffering that others are inflicting on people they are doing it because of their own ignorance others are suffering because of their ignorance and you can immediately see a need to eradicate the ignorance completely from us humans because i cannot simply sit here and say that oh, my ignorance is gone now i am in bliss you will find that somebody will come and disturb that bliss because they are ignorant our bliss is somehow dependent on somebody else's knowledge or ignorance because we are all connected because we live in a society you will say no no my bliss is very solid but whatever it is it is not a good experience it is irritating yes we are back in bliss we are established in bliss all the time but uh, there is a suffering when i see somebody else suffering due to their ignorance i can admit that and probably many of you will admit that that even though i was able to remove like we are able to remove most of our ignorance but uh, when we see a little bit of ignorance in others we can experience a tiny bit of suffering here because somebody is causing suffering or somebody is already suffering due to their ignorance it is a good point you need to see your ignorance yes that is important once you have done that you need to see the ignorance in others and that is why especially nowadays i am putting a lot of emphasis on uh, eradication of ignorance from others when you join the path the whole focus is on your ignorance you will find me saying that don't worry about the world it is not going to change don't worry about the people you cannot change them you can only change yourself just leave them alone they are on their path of suffering and they will arrive to the correct path sooner or later this is my emphasis because i don't want you to get distracted in fixing others when you yourself are under buried under ignorance i don't want you to even try doing anything for others it is a distraction it is a obstruction and an obstacle and probably it it will fail miserably i mean you can try but it is always best to clear your own ignorance first and then look after the others as much as possible it is not compulsory but i need to put that seed back once you have finished once you have gained the essential knowledge then i change my tune you must have seen this it is very strange and you must be wondering why just a few months ago or last year probably he told me not to even look at the world not to even look at others which teaching is valid here should i help others or should i not help others <laughs> this is the question here just like i have said many times now that and there is a time when you should do both there will be time when you should not worry about others and there will be time a suitable time where now you need to take care of this little suffering that uh, we experience when we see ignorance in others probably that was not her point when she said that uh, no one is behaving badly intentionally it is because of ignorance that uh, actually stops the ego from reacting that is very good if you realize this the ego will stop reacting to the behave bad behavior of others but that still will not stop the emotional layers from reacting there will be an emotion of sadness or frustration or anger a little bit oh it's not mine but whatever it is is not good and yes it is not going to stop the intellect also from saying that why can't we fix this so when that desire is dominant in you you are ready to eliminate ignorance from others so it is a matter of time it is a matter of right time don't do it if you are not already ripe and do it when this desire has 
arise in you and you are capable of doing whatever. The tiniest bit is okay here. Usually I've seen that the big efforts, they fail very badly. Small efforts, there is a big chance of success there. So Lala is saying helping you is helping me. Yes, we are all connected and so we will get the fruits of it. Remember, there are many births remaining. You will need to come back here and better do, to do something before you go so that when you arrive back, you, you are back in a better world. That does not mean that we need to come here. That simply means that if we need to come here, prepare some ground. With this saying, the seeker is the seeker in, in the path can differentiate the knowledge and ignorance. But a person who does not know anything about this path may not even know that they are in ignorance. So until and unless some raises any question, it is better to show compassion and be silent. A very good point, yes, very good point. A question is a beginning of demolition of the ignorance. If nobody is asking, we need not say anything. The ignorance is multidimensional. Like those who are ignorant, they do not know that they are ignorant. Yes, I agree with you here that um, in the pain and suffering is, uh, is an indicator of ignorance. But most of us, most of the people, they will blame something else for their pain and suffering. They, they are not going to find an ignorance there which caused it. The cause will be projected outside somewhere. So the ignorance is not seen. The darkness is so much that it, nothing is seen there. It is always something else. It is always somebody else who is responsible for the suffering. So as soon as there is a question, it, it looks like that there is a door that is open. And now a little bit of light can enter this darkness. We are doing exactly that. When I invite you in satsang and all and the various channels through which people are asking questions, I am inviting only questions. This is a Q&A session. The Hindi satsang is also q and I, I do not do anything except Q&A. Actually, I cannot even speak if there is no question. <laughs> yeah, most of my content is in the form of Q&A. So, yes, we should remain silent. Do not do anything to remove that kind of ignorance. It is going to fail. If there is a question, then there is a recognition that I have some ignorance. Otherwise, why will I ask any question? So we wait for the question. We sit here and we wait for the question. There is um, an interesting uh, point of view here that people are going to say, no, you don't wait for the question. You are actually teaching. You are broadcasting your content. You are broadcasting knowledge. And I say that there is a subtle question there. Those who are not searching will never find my content. Those who are not searching will never see the video. It is not that I am forcing it on your face like they do it on TV because you have only this many channels and now whatever they show, you must watch it. They will put the advertisement right in front of your favorite program. It is very bad situation there. We are not doing anything like this. So... A person needs to search a lot to reach this kind of knowledge. And this searching is a query. This searching is a question. And so I can answer this uh, doubt that, look, you said that don't tell anybody if they don't ask, but you are telling everybody. And I can get away by saying that, no, they are asking for it by searching for this kind of content. Otherwise, they will never search for it, which is true. An ordinary person does not even know the keywords to search. Do you think anybody is going to search for the layers of the memory or, or even words like ignorance? The ignorance ensures that there will be no questions or there will be questions rel related to survival only or there will, be, there will be questions related to whatever desires and distortions they have in their minds, not related to spiritual matters. It is not that there are no books. There are thousands of books on spirituality. There are probably million videos on spirituality. There are hundreds of teachers. And you must be wondering why nobody is enlightened here. <laughs> why nobody has any clue about the knowledge. Why it is still something in margins. And the reason is very easy to find. It is ignorance. 
they never find it because of their ignorance there have been kind of experiments at least in this country i know of some experiments there are some experiments that are still going on actually we are so ignorant that we don't realize that these are experiments so there are experiments going on the aim the goal of such experiments is to distract the ignorant person using some means it is it is something fake most of the time it is something false and when they are distracted when they, you get their attention you deliver your message you plant your seed and hope that one in 100 will listen to you there are experiments going on like this and the front is like a user interface it is completely fake it hides the actual program which will be like a lot of databases and uh, commands the user interface is very pretty it has all the pictures and so on it has all the sounds and stuff in it it is all fake it has nothing to do with the actual program it is just a presentation so it is somehow sometimes so surprising that a teacher will look like com- complete fake when you see the teacher for the first time or meet the teacher for the first time they look like complete fakes and if you stay with them for a year or two you will probably see the depth there even after a year you don't see any depths you see only fakeness that means they are genuinely fake which means there there it is not a experiment it is not a user interface kind of thing there is nothing in the back end there is only user interface so <laughs> you better leave such a person there is no content there so there there are things going on in this world about which we have no clue the guru field is very active so see the ignorance in all of all of human it is a good thing to do lalai saying i have noticed that i have lost desire to search for more knowledge well that is a good sign because you see on the path of knowledge we do not really get knowledge what are you searching for is destruction of ignorance and fortunately ignorance is like based on nothing it is hanging in the air it is like a air castle so you pull the foundation and the, everything falls down everybody must have noticed this there is a reason we call it a direct path because i know which brick to remove first i know that if i remove this one this foundation stone the whole of the ignorance is going to come crashing down that is how we use the path of knowledge it is direct and once that happens and uh, there is nothing more to know because all your questions are due to ignorance when the ignorance is cleared which can happen in one day then there will not be any question there will not be any search and that is the success of the path of knowledge in all other paths that i have seen there is a progression and it looks like that it's not not going to end anywhere but this path ends as soon as it starts shall i like saying what is the reason of reason for this why is this happening and because there is no knowledge remember in this existence knowledge is also empty in this whole emptiness knowledge is also non existent it is also an appearance what happens on the path of knowledge is a refinement of ignorance you will never get any knowledge i need to make it you know more clear because in the past i have not i have not said this so clearly i always emphasize on get more knowledge get more knowledge why because this is how we start a newcomer even if introduced to the negative knowledge will not get it i cannot introduce you to the path of knowledge by giving you negative knowledge you will never get it i i could not get it for many years actually why don't they tell us anything i said there is nothing to tell that's why they don't tell anything they will tell you that by they i mean the teachers on the path of knowledge that look whatever you have assumed whatever you think is all garbage is all wrong cannot be justified cannot be proven no evidence can be produced nothing can be said logically about whatever you are thinking whatever you are believing blindly and then it falls down but nothing is given in substitution of your beliefs 
that is the power here on the path of knowledge nothing will be given to substitute your belief and this will not happen on any other path any other path is like a conversion it converts you into something it converts your one kind of ignorance into other kind of ignorance there will be path that will say look look you are not the body and the person will say really then who am i you are the soul now here a conversion has happened now that fellow believing that i am the body is now believing that i am a soul now nobody knows what is a soul at least you know your body and they assume something you see the ignorance has deepened here they assume a soul of certain shape and size and characteristic and then they go and look for it oh i am the soul how come you don't know it who you are why are you searching for the soul somewhere in this look for it in the books and all it is a journey into a ignorance of different kind that's all and it gives them an illusion that i know something now no these paths are not going to clear your ignorance they simply convert your ignorance into something else this is especially true about religions they simply give you a new set of beliefs and now you spend your life in darkness sticking to the new darkness actually your old beliefs will never go away you simply adjust those to fit into the new belief system 